All right, let's talk about inflation further. Joining us now is economist and Professor Giotti Gosh. Professor Gosh teaches at the Political Economy Research Institute at the University of Amherst. She is the author and editor of 20 books and more than 200 scholarly articles. Professor Gosh, thank you so much for taking the time. It's a pleasure, thank you. We don't have much time, so let's get to it. How much is inflation to blame either for the Democrats or Republicans, or is it just a sign of the times? Well, the trouble is that it's being blamed on the Democrats, whereas, in fact, the causes of the inflation are not being correctly identified. Everyone is seeing this as because of too much spending by the federal government in the past year, whereas actually what we've seen is that the recent phase of inflation is almost entirely due to profiteering by large companies, especially in the oil and gas and energy sector and in the food sector, as well as financial speculation in commodities markets. So we really should have been regulating those and preventing these excess profits and kept prices under control there because that is what has fed into all the other prices. Well, some voters say that the way to solve inflation is to just go out there and vote. But if you're blaming big businesses, how exactly do you solve inflation? I know you don't have a crystal ball, but what can you predict would be the solution for it? Basically, you have to address the sources of that inflation. And as I've said, it's because some companies that affect all the other prices, that's basically energy and food, have been able to raise their prices well beyond what their costs have gone up by. And so you have to limit that, and that can be done with regulation. And you have to limit the financial players in the global commodities markets who have been also playing havoc with the prices. These can be dealt with with regulation, but for that you need actually a Congress that is willing to regulate on these matters. Well, things have been done to try to solve inflation. Of course, over nearly 6 million jobs have been added. Finally, what should be the Federal Reserve's final move to solve the economy? The Federal Reserve is trying to solve this with a hammer because that's what they have and therefore everything looks like a nail. This is not a situation where tightening monetary policy, raising interest rates, causing mortgage rates to increase is going to solve the problem. It won't and it hasn't so far. In fact, we've had tighter monetary policy going along with higher inflation rates. Now what the Fed should be doing is actually coming uh, less hard on the raising of interest rates because that's causing a recession. That means real wages are not keeping pace with the price rise. What they should be doing is to actually work on the regulations that I mentioned and ensure that financial speculation does not lead to that other price increase that we've been experiencing. Economist and author, Professor Giotti Gosh. Professor Gosh, thank you so much for taking the time. You're welcome.